Hey, what up everybody? I'm Senegal. And this is Gems of War on PS4. And today we're going to be doing the spoilers. The Gems of War spoilers for next week. The week of what is it now? April April 6th. Yeah. Week of April 6th. Spoilers for Gems of War. Um, so we'll be doing that in this video. What I'm going to be showing in the background is just some pre-recorded footage of um, close to the end of the bounty. Like I'm almost, I'm on the last reward. And um, yeah, just showing you those battles at the end of bounty while we chat about the Gems of War spoilers. And I'm going to try to do a better job this time. Last time I forgot the Mythic, um, the Glory Troop, and the weapon um, so I'm gonna try to do a little bit better each time so we'll go over all the spoilers for next week um, but first things first um, I just wanted to say um, I want everybody to just to do your best out there whatever it is you're doing you never know when your last day is gonna be you never know when you're not gonna be able to do it anymore so whatever it is that you want to do, do it to your best right now. That's all you can do. So like with me, I'm putting out a video every single day. I used to only do like two a week. And that's totally trivial compared to other things. But it's just something I wanted to do, you know. And before it's too late, I'm trying to do it. So I'm doing videos every single day. Maybe you want to get, maybe you want to get fit or work out or something. Maybe you want to get in shape. Maybe you want to lose weight. Which would really help right now, by the way. I can't get, you know, too specific because you get in trouble. But, um, yeah, if you want to lose weight, do it now. Now's the time. If you want to get in shape, do it now. Now's the time. What if you don't have another chance? What if you don't have another chance? What if you're unable or you're just gone? You never know. Could be you're only going to get older and you, it could be your last day any day now, you know? Just getting struck by lightning you get struck by lightning tomorrow just for example um so yeah if you want to get fit you want to lose weight start now and do your best every day from now on until maybe you got 50 years left maybe you only got one day left do your best today though maybe you want to learn another language maybe you want to read that book you never read just do it now now's the time because you don't know tomorrow's not promised you may not have your health tomorrow you may not be alive tomorrow so do it now like this for take my videos for example i'm doing a video every day totally trivial i'm doing other things as well not just that but that's the only example that i can share with you guys and you can see so i'm doing a video every single day because you never know when the world's going to end or whatever so let's get to these spoilers after me preaching i just wanted to try to give you guys some motivation um just get it done right now. Now's the time. What if you can't do it tomorrow? Do it today. Whatever it is you're trying to do. Lose weight. Get fit. Uh, learn that language. Put a video out every day. Whatever it is. Alright, let's see what we got here. So, on Monday, April 6th, we have a Battle Crasher. Um, it says Bunny Nog. And I'm not sure how I see what exactly it's going to give us. Uh, maybe if I click on that. Nope, that's not it. Come on, man. This is why I don't go over every single thing, because how am I supposed to tell what it's going to give you? It just says Battle Crasher Monday, April 6th, and then it says Bunny Nog. So I guess a Bunny Nog is gonna, going to appear. Um, and it doesn't say exactly, but it's going to give you either gold, glory, something like that. Um when it appears as a battle crasher next week i guess for um maybe uh, uh easter so all right so and then we have guild wars obviously next week starting on well you know tuesday but uh, make sure you get your defend teams and everything set up on monday and your sentinels or whatever so we have guild wars next week all right and then tuesday the f we have a faction event um, it's going to be La Raza's Lair on April 7th. Um, I don't. I guess we've already done that one before, so it's not like we're going to get anything new. The Crazed Troll is not new. 
The weapon's not going to be new. Okay, so on Wednesday we have a pet rescue. Bonelope is the pet. And I wish I could show it to you guys, but like I said before, I'm on PS4. If I go to this screen on PS4, it quits recording. It won't capture that. So you have to look at me playing on uh, Gems of War, doing high-level bounties for the last reward. That's going to be the only visuals. You're just going to have to, you know, take this as audio spoilers. But the Bonelope, I'll try to describe it for you. It is a bunny, obviously. It has flowers in its hair, and it has horns. And it's gray, and it just looks like a normal type bunny. Less cutesy and more like, I don't know, just less cutesy, more, don't know how to describe it, more Alice in Wonderland, less cutesy. But with horns, it's gray, it has flowers in its hair, I'm trying to be very descriptive. Alright, so Thursday we have class event for Dragon Guard, so terrible. Terrible, that might be one to skip or just do the free battles. I mean, do the free battles if you can for sure. But, uh, might be one to, uh, skip if you don't want to, uh, if you want to take a day off, you know. Mondays are good days to take off, and then sometimes Thursdays are good days to take off when they have a crappy class like that. Alright, so Friday we have Vault Event. We have Vault Event, guys. Vault Event. The best event is Vault Event. So get your get your Rowan, go to that difficulty one, two, or three, and just blow through battles and explore, and look for gnomes, and get that uh, Cedric to make your key team. Now's the time. I've said it many times in videos. If you're low level, you want to work up to that key team, and that'll be a game changer for you. The m hardest thing to get for the key team is the Cedric. Now's the time. Now's the time. Go grind the vault all weekend with your best team and difficulty one explore and just grind it from Friday morning to Sunday night. What else are you going to do? You're not even allowed to go outside right now. If you don't have that Cedric, you got to get it this weekend. I don't care what level you are. Go get that Cedric and make that key team. It's a game changer. Game changer. Greed is easy to get. Egg Thief's easy to get. Cedric, you get it this weekend. And then the, the skeleton key... It's just a matter of time. Just equip Thief and do 250 battles. So equip Thief while you uh, get your gnomes this weekend. Equip Thief right now, all week, and then grind Vault all weekend with your team, whatever it is, with Thief on it, hopefully. And by the time you get Cedric, you'll also get the 250 victories, and you'll have the whole key team. The whole thing. Cedric, Egg Thief, Skeleton Key, Greed. You got it this weekend. I just go for it, please. Please go for it. If you don't have the key team yet, go for it this weekend, please. So Vault Event, very important. It must be Easter this weekend or something. I don't even know. What else do we got going on? So, I think that's it for the events. So we have Guild Wars. We have um, Lazara's Lair. On Tuesday, we have Benelope Bene on Wednesday, the pet. We have Dragon Guard on Thursday, and then we have Vault on the weekend. So, Guild Wars starts Monday, really Tuesday. Tuesday, Lazara's Lair faction event. Wednesday, pet event, Benelope. Thursday, Dragon Guard class event. Friday through Sunday, Vault event as well as Guild Wars, obviously. Very important to do the Vault Event. Let's see if I can find this other stuff. Like, I don't know if there's a new Mythic or not. Uh, what's what's the Glory Troop? Yada, yada, yada. Um, let me just bear with me here. See if we can do better this time. So, April 6th. Matron Dragatoni. Dragatani. Uh, must be the glory troop. Let's see. I don't get it. 
I don't get it. Why is there two troops? Like, what? What? There's two new troops: Matron Dragatoni, um, from Dragon's Claw. It's a legendary, so I guess we're getting a new legendary troop next week. Matron Dragatoni. Um, it's a Dragon Centaur. It's a generator. Is its troop role. Uh, fields of Ice create six blue gems boosted by frozen enemies. Then deal magic plus three damage to the first and last enemies boosted by blue gems. Create six blue gems boosted by frozen enemies. Then deal magic plus three damage to the first and last enemies boosted by blue gems. It's a purple brown and it costs 15 mana. Trait 1 is Fireproof, immun Immunity to Burning and Fairy Fire. Trait 2 is Dragon Boon, 25% chance to summon a Dragonette on death. And trait number 3 is Arcane Resistance, reduce damage from spells by 75%. So it doesn't even freeze? It'd be nice if it had like a trait where it froze all enemies or something. And then it would help itself with its own spell. Like I don't know how much damage Magic Plus 3 is. Well obviously it's your Magic Plus 3 I guess, but... I don't even know what my magic is off the top of my head, so I couldn't figure that out. And then it's boosted by blue gems times two. Two times. So I don't know. That could do some damage, and it could not. So I can't tell you if that's good or not at this early juncture. Alright, and then we have Silfrostenath. What the heck? Silfrostenath. These names they come up with. Holy crap. It is a epic. It's probably the glory troop. And, um, its troop roll is a mage, it's a dragon, it does frost breath, deal magic plus one damage to all enemies, freeze one to four random enemies, and it's a blue green, and it's 13 mana cost. Let's read that again, frost breath, deal magic plus one damage to all enemies, freeze one to four random enemies, so it could freeze everybody, or it could freeze one. Trait is huge, gain 2 life on 4 or 5 gem matches. Trait number 2 is insulated, immunity to frozen. And trait number 3 is tough scales, reduce damage from skulls by 30%. So I guess those two troops could go together, like this, this, the Silfrostenath and the Mat Matron Dragatoni. Maybe could go together? I don't know. But I think that is it for this upcoming week. So once again, starting Monday, we have a Battle Crasher, the Bunny Nog. So it's either going to give you gold or glory or something like that, and it's really not worth going for. I mean, it's just going to pop up in random battles anyway. You can't really go for it. So when it pops up in a random battle, you'll get either extra gold or extra glory. If they're really nice, they'll give us extra gems, but I doubt it. And if they're really mean, they'll give us little crappy minor trade stones. Um... And obviously, guilds, uh, Guild War starts, but doesn't start till Tuesday, like always. And um, then Tuesday, we have our faction event for Lazara's Lair. And um, we've already had that. I think it's the first time it's been it's come through uh, on a an event that's not a you know not its first time through. So go ahead and try to max that out if you want to with potions and whatnot. But it's a one-day event, so be you know you gotta just get it done, get those orbs. Uh, Wednesday we have the um, the pet, and I already forgot its name. I was trying to remember without going back to that screen because I got the legendary and the other troop up. Uh, of course, I went to the wrong screen again. What was the pet's name, guys? Do you remember? What was the pet's name? But yeah, that's on Wednesday. Benelope. Benelope pet for Pan's Veil. If I didn't say that already. Pan's Veil pet. On Wednesday. It doesn't really say what it does. It might be just a, um... It might be just a Cosmetica pet for Easter. Because it doesn't say... doesn't say that it does anything 
Alright, so then Thursday's Dragon Guard class event. Uh, just do your free battles. Unless you're me and you, you need orbs really bad. Then, uh, then you're probably going to spend way too many gems and get that last orb that will end up being a green one and wasting a bunch of your gems. But if you're not me and you're not going for Zugoth, then just do your free battles or totally skip it because Dragon Guard and Dragon Guard stinks. Um, and then Friday is a Vault. So make sure to do the Vault. If you don't have the key team yet, which a lot of people ask me, hey, what's the first? I got, I'm using Elwyn right now. And I need a better team, and I always say, well, go get your key team, or your Rowane team, uh, and I tell you how to get it, and usually it involves getting a Cedric, which is the hardest part, and I usually say, you know, wait till a Vault event comes, and just go hard on the Vault event. That's now. That's this weekend. That's Friday. So, equip Thief all week, get your 250 victories to get your Skeleton Key. Then Friday... Use your Rowane team or your Elwyn team or whatever you got right now. Go into difficulty 1 or 2 or 3. Whatever you can clear. Fastest. Easiest. And just hunt for gnomes. Eventually you'll get a vault key. And then eventually you'll take that vault key into the vault. You'll clear it and you'll get a Cedric. And now you have the key team. Because Egg Thief and Greed are super easy to get. And uh, once you get Cedric, it's Cedric, Egg Thief, Skeleton Key, and Greed. And that's your new awesome team that can, that I still use to this day at level 1250 or whatever the heck I am. So do that this weekend, please. And uh, that's everything. The vault event. Let's go hard this weekend. Let's get some vault keys. Let's get some orbs. Let's get our Cedric. Let's get our key team locked down. Um, let's get a bunch of gems, you know. And uh, happy Easter. And remember, whatever it is, do it now. Start today. Do it every day from now on. You never know how long you got. So do it now, guys. Do it now. But, uh, yeah. Like, share, subscribe. This might end abruptly on the screen here on the video because I just wanted to read the spoilers. And I'm just going to cut off the uh, video at whatever point I'm done. So I'm done now. But, yeah. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow for... Uh, I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. Something. I'll figure it out because there's, like, no event to do tomorrow so i don't know i'll have to think about that something tomorrow maybe you can have some suggestions in the comments maybe i could show all my guild war defend teams or or something or show my team for uh tuesday i don't know we'll see i'll have to think about it now um yeah consider hitting the join button i put a link in the description under like the the real description that i describes the video there'll be like four or five sentences and then under that it will have a link you can click that link and join for less than two dollars and that gets you a special shout out in a future video you get messages that other people don't get only members get which you know say stuff like hey the video is coming out in a couple hours it's this video uh hey guys i'm doing this today hey guys the video is coming out then blah 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 like i'll tell members certain things that i don't you know put out to everybody else you get a special badge if I ever go live, which is not never. I do sometimes. I haven't lately, but I do sometimes. So, your special badge, a special em emoji or two, and, um, you know, just you're helping out the channel directly. So, yeah. Remember what I said at the beginning of the video? And that's all your spoilers for next week, the week of April 6th. And uh, I'll see y'all next time. Like, share, subscribe. Peace.